So, uh, next is uh, purchase of fixed assets. Since we want this figure for calculation of uh, free cash flow, uh, purchase of fixed assets, where will you get this figure? Purchase of fixed asset or uh, capex figure is ideally you will get it from cash flow. So, uh, if you go to company's annual report and uh, check uh, purchase of fixed assets uh, in cash flow statement, uh, you will get uh, this figure. Uh, okay, so I have already uh, collected uh, these uh, figures for last five years and uh, put it here. You can uh, also uh, go to uh, annual report of uh, uh, Colgate and uh, check purchase of fixed asset uh, figure there. If you don't get it, uh, you can ask me inquiries and uh, uh, I'll reply. Uh, I'll tell you uh, exactly where the figure is. Okay, so purchase of fixed asset from 2008 to 2012. So select it, select this figure, control C in 2008. So go to this cell and press control V. So if you check, we have taken this for last five years. Now you want to check it, uh, the purchase of fixed asset uh, in relation to EBIT. Since our calculation is going to be based on uh, projection of EBIT and uh, other variables we are going to uh, project uh, these uh, variables in relation uh, to EBIT. So uh, EBIT is a base figure here. Here, okay. So percentage of EBIT, uh, click uh, put equal to sign. Uh, check this figure divided by EBIT. Where is EBIT? This is EBIT for 2008. Press enter. Now drag it okay so we have uh, calculated this figure for for 2008 10% of uh, ebit is uh, purchase of fixed assets 1% 7% 1% 18% since there is a lot of variation in this figure we ideally uh, will take uh, average or uh, we we might go for a representative figure that will do justice to uh, cash flow valuation okay uh, next figure we want is increase in working capital as per a cash flow statement. Okay, so I have taken this uh, increase in working capital uh, also from uh, uh, respective annual reports. Okay, so select this data and uh, paste it here. Right. So, uh, again, if you want to check uh, this data in relation uh, to uh, EBIT, so you can do it. So, press enter, check uh, this figure that is working capital divided by EBIT and press enter. So, it's in percentage. Okay. So here we have uh, 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 this is this I call it analysis sheet because uh, based on this we are going to uh, project the data for future years. Fine. Uh, see if in cash flow statement you just need these figures. Uh, that's that's all. And uh, some growth rates for terminal growth rate and uh, for projecting uh, uh, cash flow uh, growth rates. We'll check uh, the, these data in. Uh, you know respective videos so for time being uh, we will call this sheet as uh, analysis sheet so you can rename this sheet as uh, analysis okay uh, 